Hi everyone, in this video we're going to go ahead and make a destructible mesh out of this little curly geometry. I'm working in Unreal Engine 4.18.3 and you can see that detail up here about Unreal in the version. Okay, now, so we're at our test station and this is what we need to make destructible. Well, don't we just go right click here and uh, it's gone, alright? So this is what I just found in 4.18.3 so what you need to do is go to your window, sorry, your edit plugins, type in Apex, find it, make sure that's ticked on. This is being deprecated, so it's going to be removed eventually. Go ahead and restart your file. All right, once your project's reloaded, just like mine has, I'm going to close this plugins window, and you can see I've got the wrong map associated with uh, the project, so I'm just going to go ahead and switch back to the map that I was working in. Get a few little warnings. That's all good. And so here we are back here. And you can see that I can now right click on my geometry, go to create destructible mesh. So I'm going to choose that. And once I'm in here, I'm going to say how many pieces do I want it to be split into under this Voronoi noise. You can see the cell uh, site count is 25. That's going to be fine. So I'm going to say fracture mesh. And we're going to see that just offset a little bit due to the explode amount. We can crank that up if we want to see more. And you'll see now that uh, there's actually the gold material on the outside just the way it was, but all these new fractures have created this other area that needs to be textured, a second material. So I'm just going to save this. I'm happy with the number of divisions here, and we'll look briefly at the damage in just a moment. So save, close that, and now what I'm going to do is just bring this out into the scene. I'm going to delete the other one. Go ahead and rotate this around. Yeah, looks that's pretty good. Okay, with this, you can see down here we've got the two materials now, so I just need to change this second one to gold as well and now that that's gold all the shattered components should be gold when they break apart so all we have to do is go and press play right this is we've now got the destruct destructible mesh we can see it here with the suffix dm press play okay the shot didn't do anything neither did us hitting it all right so what we need to do is jump in here and for this object we can see can't see it fractured or exploded I'm just going to go ahead and say Fracture Mesh. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say Enable Impact Damage. Turn that on. And what that's going to allow us to do is to close this. Hit Play to go up. Shoot it. Nope, still can't do that. But now I can go and run into it. And it falls down and breaks apart. Okay. Halfway there. Next thing I need to do is go and say, well, the blueprint isn't quite creating the effect that I want. So I'm going to take the projectile for this first person blueprint that I'm working in, or for the projectile I should say, and what I want to do is over in um, our collision component, we're not interested in the sphere or projectile here, we want to make sure the collision component is movable of course, and down here we want to make sure that it's simulating physics, and the other thing is we want to make sure that it actually triggers um, any destructive events, so that that's going to be counted for. Alright, I've also set the two block hole, you could do block dynamic or Try something else to see what you like the results of. I'm going to say save, minimize this, go back now, shoot that, bang, it's done. Drops. Can open fire on it like that, and just go nuts. All right, that's it for now. Hope that helps. I'll see you in another video.